Hi, welcome back to Kyler B Music and Reviews. New week, new video. This week we're going to be talking about a CD. A CD that you'll never hear on the radio. As with 99.99% .99 of the music that's out today, or even in the past for that matter. If you're a music fan and you listen to the radio, you're going to hear 12 to 20 songs, the same 12 to 20 songs every day, every day of the week, twice a day. Doesn't matter what station you're on, same songs. Welcome to corporate radio. Radio changed quite a few years ago, as a matter of fact, when he started taking the DJ out of the booth. He can no longer make his own decisions. It's a computer most of the time, and if you got a DJ in there, he's in the morning crew, and then he's gone at 9 o'clock. So as with a lot of the other music that I've talked about on this channel, this CD was never promoted, was never heard. The only reason I ran across it, I was cruising through iTunes one day, looking through what the listeners bought section, and I ran across a song called The Dream. Well, let's check that out. And up come a voice that sounded just like Steve Perry, I swore it was. As a Journey fan, I don't think I could get enough of Steve Perry. And it's turned out the singer's name was the name of Hugo Valenti. And this particular album was called The Dream, and it was a collaboration between Josh Ramos, a guitarist, and Hugo Valenti. Called Ramos Hugo, of course. Josh Ramos is from the Chicago area. He started out in the 80s in a band called Le Mans. If you like Motley Crue, I think they only did one or two albums at the most. It's, it's good music. It's worth looking for. He later did his own solo effect. He's worked with just about everybody. He was in a band in the 90s called The Storm. That was with 3X Journey members. Greg Raleigh, Steve Smith, to name a couple. I believe Jason Chafflett was the singer. Another one that sounds like Steve Perry. That CD, they only did two that I know of, it was worth tracking down. I Have the Storm. That's a great CD from start to finish. Josh is out on his own doing his own solo work now. It's definitely worth a listen if you like rock music. It sounds a lot like Neil Sean, his hero. Now our singer in this band, Hugo Valente, started out in a band called Valentine. The record label made him change the name over to Open Skies. Those two albums with the same performers are great albums. You have to look in order to find those. I found them on eBay, paid big money for them. They're worth the purchase to me. Hugo Valente did three solo albums starting out in 97. All three of those are great albums. Again, you have to find them on eBay used, and you will pay for them. He worked with several other people along the way, doing projects for them, singing with them, and he also is in a Journey cover band called Voyage. In the past, they had toured the country, but now they mostly stay on the East Coast. I wish they'd come back because I didn't get to see them the first time. I've watched interviews with Hugo, he's a great guy. Sounds just like Steve Perry, looks just like Steve Perry. I always wondered why Neil Sean didn't pick him up as the replacement singer when he uh, kicked Steve Perry out of the band. But he kinda, uh, on the other hand, I kinda understand why. So the album we're talking about today, The Dream, came out in 2008. Again, we had Josh Ramos on guitars, Hugo Valente singing, John Malcalso, I hope I pronounced that right, sorry if I didn't, he was on the drums, Eric Regno on keys, again, I hope I said that correctly, and Jamie, whom I've never heard of on bass. I've tried tracking him down to figure out who that was, and I just couldn't find anything on him. If anybody knows him, please put it in the comments section. I'd like to find out who he is. But this album consists of... Front, start to finish, 
good songs. It, it's just like the old days where you could sit down, listen to an album. You know, when we had record players and the dinosaurs ruled the earth, you could actually listen to an album. This album starts out with a song called You're Not Alone. You're Not Alone is kind of a rocker. Most of the songs on this album are, are kind of rockers. There is your album ballad called The Dream. Um, and in the city is kind of slow. It's not a ballad, but it's slow. Good, good tune. Um, I don't want to say goodbye. Is a rocker for sure. It has a lot of uh, leads in it. Um, Fool's Game is a good one. That's another kind of slow one. Um, Bring Back This Love reminded me a lot of Raised on Radio from Journey. So check this album out. You can get it on iTunes. You can also buy it on Amazon Music. If you find the CD or the album, you're paying big money for that. I've seen those for as high as 100 bucks. But you can download it off of iTunes or Amazon. They're usually about 10 to 15 bucks. It's definitely worth it. If you're a Journey fan or know who Hugo and Josh Ramos are, check out this album. It's definitely worth a listen. So anyway, as usual, thanks for stopping by listening to my story check out the dream it's worth a listen hope to see you again next week maybe for another guitar demo maybe talk to a performer maybe review a performer maybe talk about a CD don't forget to hit that like button subscribe share it with your friends check out the album of course I hope to see you again next week. Take care.